Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Georgia. So I just reacted to Mike Tyson's best knockouts of all time. And I've kind of decided to make like a little competition between Mike Tyson and Tyson Fury because my dad likes to think that Mike Tyson's the best and my brother seems to think that Tyson Fury is the best. So I thought I would react and put it to the test. So I've just done Mike Tyson. WBC heavyweight champion of the world. Fury! Ooh. It looks like his like side shots to the to the what do you call it like body shots are like the ones that look to be the most painful from Tyson so far. I'm like maybe that's the one that packs the most punch, like him just punching them so hard in the stomach. Oh my god. Imagine how much that would wind you. Like, getting hit in the stomach doesn't feel good, but imagine getting hit in the stomach by Tyson Fury. Like, I would be so winded. But maybe that's why they all have six packs and they make themselves really solid, because, like, you know, I'm really, like, soft. So if I got punched in the stomach, like, I'd probably lose my stomach, honestly. I would just punch a hole in it through me because I'm so soft. <laughs> Don't know why I said that. But, yeah, he just seems to have hard body shots. Oh my god, he's really going for it. Oh. To be fair though, that guy was staying on his feet and he was getting pummeled. Jesus. God, his body shots are brutal. Steve Cunningham. Wait, did he just knock Tyson out? Is he going to make a comeback? Oh, yes, Tyson. <laughs> See? 
See, I bet you he thought he had him as well. I bet you he did. I bet you he was like, do you know what? I've just knocked out Tyson Fury. I've got him. You know, I finally, you know, knocked out the, the huge beast of a puncher. And see, he got owned. See, that's a good thing, I think, with boxing. It's like, even if you get knocked out, you know, some of them, they'll get knocked out and they'll give up. Not Tyson, you know, he gets punched and he doesn't give up. He just gets back up and he's like, doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean anything because you can always come back. Do you know what I mean? There's a, there's a nice little message in that. See, you can always get back up and then take the win. <laughs> Ooh. Savage. Oh, he's out as well. Okay, so I know his fight with Deontay Wilder is like the most famous one because I remember up uh, coming to the fight. I'm pretty sure my brother and my dad went to watch it actually at the, is it the Wembley Stadium? The most recent fight he had. I don't know if he was fighting Deontay Wilder actually. I don't think he was. No, he wasn't. He was, I, all I know is that they went to watch Tyson Fury not long ago and he was fighting some guy. But yeah, I feel like this was definitely the most famous one that I heard of, you know. But yeah, the thing is, boxing is just a sport, isn't it? Watching, watching these two compilations, I've really watched boxing before, it's not really something that I'm like hugely interested in, but obviously when you're watching it with like the best, you know, it's, you can't dispute that it's entertaining and also not just entertaining, but it's bloody like, whoa, do you know what I mean? Just because like, I find it hard to fathom in my mind that people can be that strong and like think they're heavyweight men, like as strong as you can get men just pummeling each other and I'm just like, damn it, like it's just a bit intense, but do you know what? You know, it brings it brings us entertainment, you know, when I want to do a reaction to it, it's there for me to react to, you know. <laughs> oh, the intense build up of the music. Come on, Tyson. Come on, Tyson. This is intense. I'm like feeling the pressure. <laughs> This is so intense. This is such an intense fight. Yes, Tyson. That was a wham as well. Right to the side of the head. Oh my goodness gracious. Tyson.
I've got to say though, this has got to be one of those fights in like history, I feel, especially for like modern times. I feel like this is our fight, you know, like for the modern days of our generation. This is like the fight. And I mean, Tyson Fury is not really my generation because like I'm only 20 and I think, I don't know, is he in his 30s or something? But I feel like for like, you know, a fight to go on nowadays, so like this is the one that we're going to remember, do you know what I mean? Like when I'm like 50, you know, when I'm explaining like the fight that I remember, I'm going to be like Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder for sure. Just because I remember how many people were talking about it and like the atmosphere around it at the time, there was so much drama surrounding it. Like it was such a thing like, oh my God, who's going to win? Like... Yeah, I feel like it was just a fight that everybody was excited for. Like, even me, I didn't even watch boxing. But, like, even I was like, yeah, go Tyson. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's how I felt when everyone was talking about it. I was like, yeah, I'm, t I'm, I'm Team Tyson Fury, of course, you know. <laughs> that was a... Mwah, mwah. Yes, Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that was the end of the top Tyson Fury knockouts do you know what I just feel like you know it's, it's kind of occurring to me now that this is a competition and I'm going to need to pick a winner Mike Tyson or Tyson Fury best knockouts of all time the thing is with the both of them, there's no dispute that they're both very talented, like boxing is just like, one of those crazy sports that like, you know, the stuff they put their bodies through, like the bravery to do it, you know, sometimes I can't even fathom why it's a thing sometimes because I'm like, why would anyone volunteer to put themselves in a ring, in a box and get pummeled in the face and the body? And also, like, even the, the lead up to the fight, you have to exercise so much and you have to eat healthy food. I'm like, what is glamorizing about? I mean, what actually incites anyone to want to do that? You know, I know there's like the money and stuff. I'm like, money doesn't carry you through things. I'm like, there's many things that I could do to get money, but I don't because I have no interest in it. So these people must have genuine, like, enjoyment and interest in it. Maybe just because I don't understand it or because I don't really want to get punched in the face. I feel like I'm just a bit of a wuss, honestly. Like, fight and flight, I, I love to, to flight. But yeah, I just feel like with kind of the voluntary stuff, I'm like, you're choosing to do it, but you know, whatever suits you, it's fine by me. I'm, I'm finding entertainment from watching it. But yes, I'm putting off picking a winner. Okay, look. Right, there's no disputing, they're both amazing, you know, they, they both are, are crazily good at what they do, but I'm gonna have to, st I'm gonna base it off of who I think, so I don't really know anything about like the skills of boxing, so I'm gonna try and base it off of what I find the most enjoyment from watching, and who I just find the most crazy, like crazy isn't like crazy good, and I feel like when I watch Mike Tyson, I just... <laughs> He brings like the energy and like, you know, the explosive energy that I like. I feel like Tyson Fury seems to like hang back a bit more. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Like, I, I don't know because he's also really good and because like he's more of this generation than Mike Tyson, but I'm gonna have to go with the, the old generation again. You know, Mike Tyson, he's explosive. He's so powerful, like just crazily skilled in it. So is Tyson Fury, close second. I'm gonna say he's a close second because he's also really impressive. But Mike Tyson, he just brings the energy for me. So yeah, if you liked this video or the videos, if you watch both of them, then please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and please turn on the notification bell. Also, comment down below who you prefer. So yeah, I'm, I'm really interested now and to see what other people think. So yeah, goodbye.